we are back here on Girl Talk at Orange Theory, and here we go, Coach. All right, so we just did the treads, and now we are moving over to the water rowers. So these are a little bit different than your typical rower. If you've done a fan rower before, your resistance is actually going to be the water in that water tank. So first thing you do when you oh, come cool. and sit down is you're going to look at your foot plates. So women have anywhere from five to seven of these little holes showing. You want that strap to be around the widest part of your foot. So go ahead and take your feet inside there. Nice job. Now, again, you're looking for the widest part. Once you find that, you're gonna pull those straps at the same time. So you might wanna be able to adjust yours just a little bit more, just so that you have um, it around the widest part. And then that might be a little too high. Okay, so got it. Oh. You said women have okay. what? Anywhere from five to seven holes there showing. There you go. So okay. we're gonna, if you'll okay. take your foot out for me. There we go. Good. Adjusting is everything, because I know you guys have both told me safety first. Yes. So if you'll lift that one up just a little Thank bit. Thank you. My kids call me OSHA. There we go. Oh, do they? They <laughs> do. I love so, it. Uh, I'm all you about safety You want to pull the straps first. at the Got same it. time, because oh. then you won't have enough slack on the other side. Awesome. Got it. Next thing you're going to do is you want to make sure you turn the monitor on. Too many people start rowing, and they don't get their uh, numbers. So your on button is on the left-hand side of the screen. You're then going to grab your handle, palms down, thumbs tucked under. Okay. Now there's a there's a system to this next part. You're first gonna jump back with your legs. So just jump all the way back to the back of the rower. Good. Now your shoulders are over your hips. This is gonna be your 12 o'clock. Next, you're gonna use your core. So your arms are still extended. You're gonna lean back with the core. Third, you're gonna pull in between your sternum and your belly button. So a lot of people tend to go up here. You're gonna stop right here. Next, you're going to release with the arms, come back up to that 12 o'clock position, and then back down to the beginning. So Bend your legs, there you go. So legs, core, then arms, nice. Arms, core, and then legs. Good, keep it going. Legs, core, arms, nice. Arms, core, legs. Now as you are moving, you will see that your heart rate starts to move as well. So the more power that you put into your legs, that jump back, that's that heart rate increasing. Now what you're trying to do here is get into the green zone. So that 71% we did on the tread. Once you get that heart rate into the green zone, you're gonna check out these big numbers on the top right corner. These are your wattages. With this, you are trying to find that base pace and then increase up into a push pace. So a push pace would be 25 to 50 watts over what you're at. Now, all three of you are holding your breath. So you gotta blow out your air as you jump back, inhale as you come forward. So it's one count back, two counts forward. Nice, blow it out. Inhale. Now, as you're going, the bottom right is going to be your meters. So we're about mm. almost 200 meters, so that's pretty good. A lot of the times we'll have a class that says you have 200 <laughs> meters in a minute or less. So that's what? how you would see. So again, you would increase that leg drive with every stroke back. I'm and so how are we glad. feeling? I'm so glad Kelly and Stephanie are here. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Doing pretty good. Through the you're moving back into the warm up zone. So, again, if you're trying to get to the green zone, you're trying to jump back just a little bit harder. A lot of people think that the harder that they row back with their arms, the more meters they're going to get, but it's 60% legs, 20% core, 20% upper body. Sometimes Jeremy, I notice I did, when I'm rowing I that did green for a second. if I pause for an absolute second and let the water settle, mm -hmm. I can get a better power. Yeah, so that's going to be that one count back, two counts forward. Yeah. So that two count forward is going to slow down that water, and then as you jump back, you are actually going to get anywhere from 10 to 15 meters some taller men get anywhere from 20 meters and above. This is surprisingly, right? L like, <laughs> therapeutic. I was, I was well, just waiting until so the music's say, going. Wait until you have to do a 2,000 meter row and then you're on there for 10 minutes. And is this all over body fitness? So, full body? Full body. Yes, yes. So you're engaging your entire body. So again, 60% of this movement comes from your legs. 20% core, 20% upper body. So that is everything that you're using. You're using your breath, you're using your brain because you gotta remember legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs, all that good Say stuff. Say that again, legs, core, arms. Legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. legs. Core, so arms. press wow. back legs, then lean back in the core, pull in with those arms, and then release with the arms, release with the core, come back to the starting it's position. It's interesting, I have to remember to breathe. Yes. Yeah, me too. So right? when you press back, you blow out all the air. As you come forward, you take that deep breath in. Once so. you get used to it and you get into the rhythm and you figure it out, so then you know. Let's see. Exhale exertion. Mm -hmm. Is that what okay. I'm doing? Yep. Okay. Out Very and good. Then breathe in. There's little. 
Those yep. little cues. Think right? about powering back too with those legs. Yeah. Exactly. So again, it's uh, two counts back, one or one count back, two counts forward, or power, and yeah. then patience, patience. And I power. think we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to go over to that weight, weight floor. Yes. No. Is yes. that what it's called? Yep. Weight, weight floor. floor. Mm -hmm. Stay with us.